Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Today, I'm here to talk to you about one of the dresses I made last year, Butterick 6449. This footage was filmed uh, this time last year when I lived in Charleston. B6449 is a close-fitting pullover dress that has front and back princess seams, midriff and sleeve length variations. The UC has contrast sides, midriff, and bands. All views are intended for moderate stretch knits only like interlock, jerseys, and cotton knits that have at least a 35% stretch. It's a little less roomy than intended, therefore a little less flattering. In honor of full disclosure and transparency with you guys, I want to say I'm wearing Spanx under the dress in this video to keep everything nice and smooth. You might actually recognize this pattern from a previous dress I made, well, at least the bodice anyway. Who remembers this video from last year? I am so excited to show you one of my recent makes. This is actually a pattern mashup of a Butterick pattern and a McCall's pattern. So for the bodice, I used Butterick 6449. I used the neckline for view A with the scoop neck, but I omitted the neckband. Instead of finishing it with the band, I simply folded the seam allowance under and finished with my cover stitch machine. I can't remember which version came first, but honestly, neither of them are perfect. The blue one has a fit I prefer, but the fabric isn't stretchy at all. And the floral one is too tight, but has a fabric I love. Maybe the third time will be the charm with this pattern. The fact that I could get such a good fit from both dresses and both fabrics is a testament to how great the pattern is. I just love princess seams and a waistband so much. They will both hide a million sins. I'm a rebel and made my version out of a scuba knit that definitely does not have 35% stretch. I got it in the New York City Garment District a couple of years ago. It's 100% polyester and pretty insulating, making it ideal for a fall floral dress. I mean, Scuba's original intent was to keep surfers warm and dry in the cold ocean water, so you can imagine my cute, fun, non-athletic application is still warming. I'll keep you posted if it keeps me dry. I spent a lot of time on the placement of the florals on this one. The fabric had a lot of negative space and I didn't want the flowers to be too sparse. The placement of the bouquet on the back is one of my favorite things I've ever done in my sewing room. It's like a really beautiful temporary tattoo. Like I said, I don't love the fit of this one, mostly below the waist. This type of skirt is not forgiving if you have any kind of belly at all. If you are an apple shape, or even if you just like to eat tacos, stay away from a pattern like this. The empire waist combined with the slim princess seams in the skirt accentuate the curves, which is nice in the hips, but not so much in the belly. I'm able to camouflage mine with some clever undergarments, but I know not everyone is that fortunate. Plus, who really likes wearing shapewear anyway? Other than that though, I really do love the dress. When I look really close, the sleeves are a little tight around the cap and probably too short for me, but I don't hate them. I want to try this pattern for a third time out of some double brushed polyester. I'll probably still swap out the skirt for a more figure flattering one, but with the stretch content closer to how it was drafted, I'm curious to see how everything else, including those sleeves, will fit and feel. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about this version in the comments section below. And if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe. I'm posting clothes that I've made each and every Monday in addition to loads of other content I think you'll love. And if you think you're subscribed, double check. You might think you are, but aren't for a myriad of reasons. Subscribing and watching the video ads that play at the beginning of the videos help me out a ton. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.